Hey there folks, it's Lane here with Windows10Update.com and today I want to go ahead and show you how to do a clean install of Windows 10 using the ISO files. My last video prior to this one talked about how to create the ISO files. So this video will just go ahead and show you what to do with those files. So when you downloaded those files, you had a couple of different options. So first of all, you had the option to create an ISO file and then put it on a USB drive, or you had the option to uh, create it uh, on a DVD for another PC. So depending on what you have chosen, uh, the instructions here will be a little bit different. So you can see right here, I have the DVD drive uh, with the ISO files. If I go ahead and click on that, what I could do here is just go ahead and actually just click on setup. Uh, now the other way to do that, if I had created a USB drive and the ISO files were on there, I could do the same thing. Go ahead and click in there and then just click on setup. And it's gonna go ahead and start installing the OS right here natively within the operating system. And this would work on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, whatever operating system you are running. Um, so this would be probably the easiest way to do that. So if you have this file and you wanna transfer it over to another PC that doesn't have Windows 10 yet, you can just actually go in there and do this. Go ahead and load up that DVD or that flash drive, and then just go ahead and click on setup and it's going to go ahead and install that operating system. So the other option that you do have, uh, if you do have the DVD in your drive or you do have the, uh, the USB thumb drive attached with the ISO files, you can go into your settings application, go into update and security, and then recovery, and then you should, depending on what system you have, depending on the hardware configuration, you may have this option for advanced startup. Now, if I go ahead and restart my PC, all of this recording is going to stop, so I can't do that. But um, what you would do after you click Restart Now, it's going to restart your PC in a special state. It's going to be a blue screen with just a limited number of options. And then you would go ahead in there and select the appropriate option to boot from the USB drive or from the DVD. And then it's going to install the operating system that way. So either way, um, you're going to have a clean install of Windows 10 using those ISO files. So that's how you do that. Thanks for watching.